Okay, um, just finished the race. It was terrible, it went horribly. So bad, in fact, I'm not even gonna call it a race, I'm gonna call it a workout that didn't go according to plan. That's what we're gonna say. Uh, there was some last minute drama. Last night, I found out, I realized that I had to go pick up the bib before the race. They weren't gonna have the bibs at the race, which I didn't, which I didn't realize. So, um, I, uh, and I, it was too late and I had to pick it up Friday or Saturday and I didn't, and I called and I emailed and I tried to like get a hold of somebody and they were like, nope, sorry. So I just ran the race illegally. <laughs> so basically like I, I relocated, I was using somebody's playtime, playtime toy set. So, uh, yeah, so last minute drama, so I didn't get the, do I didn't get the, 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 dorsa, the, the bib, so I, I just kind of ran it illegally, and so, like, you know, I waited, like, 100 meters off the front, um, and then when the gun went off, I kind of jumped in the, the lead pack, and, um, didn't stay in the lead pack. <laughs> I don't know, you know, to be, and to be honest, I don't really know, I mean, I guess I could blame it on sickness. I guess I could. I mean, my heart rate was like super elevated the last few days, and last night it was uh, 60, 70, trying to sleep, and all like during the warm up, it was like 160 and stuff. I mean, like, uh, I mean, there's, there's good. I mean, like, there, there, it was, it was weird. Like my, my legs, like they actually felt great. Like my form felt great. My, my stride felt great which was like the opposite of my last marathon where my legs didn't feel great at all. So t today my legs felt amazing and my stride felt like sweet and responsive. It just felt way harder than it should have. And so like I was running like 545s or something. Five, four, I think my first mile was 542. And, like that was challenging. And then it was like, it was like really hot. I know I had this hat on, but it's like 65 Fahrenheit, 16, 17 Celsius, no water anywhere. And just it was just way 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 harder than it should have been. So basically, like after mile two, after three k, um, I just it was just I was like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna like fart like this. So basically, like I would I would kind of slower pace. I would run at a slower pace, like seven minute mile for like a minute, and then I would like go faster for a minute. So I did that I alternated. Basically, I was like in between like five forty five pace, to maybe like six thirty, you know, minute on minute off, and then I eventually went to like six minute pace to like six thirty or something like just to kind of try and like, I don't know. And like, because it was so hard, it's like kind of mentally, it was kind of a bummer and, and yeah, you know, I ran like 37 minutes, which is not normal. I mean, like, dude, I've, I've run faster than that. I think at the end of a marathon before, for sure in training. So I don't know, man, I really, oh, my legs are killing me. So I don't know. Um, so it's a bummer. Um, I guess, I don't know, maybe I should have expected not to run fast, but it would have been nice to at least feel decent, you know? But yeah, sorry if you're seeing this and you're like, oh my God, he ran with a little bib. Technically I had a bib. I was like in legally supposed to be in the race. I just couldn't get the little thingy to run in the race. So there you go. One more thing was like, there was only, there was no water. There was water at 6K. There was water once halfway through the race, which I thought was, I don't know, man. It was like, it's pretty hot. It was like really I was drenched in sweat when I finished. Like you'd think that for a race like through the city, they would have like, I think you think for a race in June, you know, they would have like water. You also think you'd be able to pick up the the bib at the at the freaking, at the starting line. It's not a marathon. It's not like 50,000 people here. And like usually like for people who like work during the day and stuff. And usually you can pick it up like a few days before and then also usually like the day of up until like, you know, an hour before the race or something. It's really weird that that wasn't an option. Anyways, it's my fault. I didn't check the email. My my mistake, mon error. Um, there you go. And um, I'll come back to this. I'll come back to this tomorrow when I've had a chance to rethink and kind of problem solve and think about how to solve the problem. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. And two weeks later, uh, I'm about to run another another 10K. <laughs> I have my bib this time. Um, the last two weeks were good. I wasn't sick. 
I had normal training. Nothing terribly miraculous, but it was just normal stuff. So, doing this for a few reasons. Well, one, tomorrow's my birthday, and I want to have a good race before I turn before I turn old. Um, so, I've got a 10K through the Chateau de Vincennes. I don't know if you guys saw, there's a castle right there. It's gorgeous. And we'll see how it goes. Um, anything I've, what I've changed in the last two weeks? What have I changed in the last two weeks that will lead me to success in this race? Well, I'm not sick, that's a big one. Um, I've gotten great sleep. I changed my sleep schedule, so I wake up earlier and I've been running in the mornings, which is when races typically are, so that's good. So also I've done a little bit of mental preparation. So in anticipation of this race, there's two things I'm gonna do. One, I'm not gonna go start out too hard. Uh, I'm gonna kind of get. I'm going to kind of ease into my race pace, and then I'm going to, I think, wait until about 5k to really kind of dig down and make it very painful. And that's the third thing is where I will kind of accept the pain. So they call this like acceptance and avoidance, and like the mental training circles and stuff, which is what I've been googling. And so yeah, we'll practice acceptance today. Acceptance of the imminent pain that will be that will come. That is to come. Okay, so um, I got about an hour before the race, so I need to do my warm up and stuff. These people need to go to the bathroom. And I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, the race is finished at the, okay, at the Chateau de Vincennes. Okay, so that race went better than two weeks ago. Um, I ran 10 kilometers for 36 minutes, 35 seconds. Uh, my one saving grace was that it's actually, it's pretty hot. So everyone was like, I, th I think I got like 35th or something. Um, but it's like really hot. So I guess we aren't running for times, but I feel better. Um, it's nice to, it's just more intimate down here. So I ran like an actually like a very good, strong race. I ran, I think, even splits or negative splits, but I didn't, um, like, I, I started, like, I started, like, and then kind of, like, towards the middle, and then I just kept going and passing people, and then I finished up towards the front, and I ran, had good form, I had, like, I felt good, my heart rate was stable, my pace was good, my turnover was good, I was, like, kind of, like, being, I was queuing to, like, being fluid and smooth and, like, you know, uh, like, no tension in my upper body, like, nice and fluid, and I felt great, and, um, yeah. It was a, I ran a good race. The time was, was, you know, obviously that. But, you know, it's it's hot. And what are you going to do? So I feel good. I feel better than I did two weeks ago, which was terrible. I feel, I feel positive. I'll have to think of a good message for this video or a good way to kind of have it circle back and have it be applicable to everybody. But maybe the moral for this one is just, you know, sometimes you have good races and sometimes you have bad races. But that's kind of the way racing goes. And maybe kind of the interesting thing, kind of the beauty with the sport is being able to kind of be at your best on this one particular day, which is a pretty interesting kind of feat when you think about it, considering like how variable our bodies feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Remember when I said it was hot outside? In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get the service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.